Hello everyone, I am Veos and welcome back to another Kerbal Space Program video. As I was reading the comments in the last video, someone basically said that I was an idiot, I didn't know what I was doing, and that SSTOs were possible for Tier 1. Well, you know how I am about challenges, and to be frank, I really did want to see an SSTO for Tier 1. Before I got started, I scoured the internet. I looked for anything anywhere talking about how someone has already built a tier one ssto and i didn't find anything so i guess the challenge that i have for all of you today is to either find evidence on the internet that someone has already built one of these or build one yourself now upon going through the entire internet scouring every little detail i could find looking at all the wiki data and not coming across anything or anyone who's ever done this i said you know what wouldn't that be cool if i was the first one to do it of course uh eh, uh that didn't happen but <clears throat> i feel like i learned a lot i tested uh, this concept of a tier one SSTO for about five hours. I tried everything from launching it like an SSRT, which is what it technically is, a single stage rocket technology, to going for a more SSTO SSRT hybrid, using wings to try to stabilize it so that it used most of its fuel to gain more speed than altitude, instead of gaining altitude first than speed like a normal rocket. I tested it with all the engines on at once. I tested it with the engines taking turns. I tested it with different TWR values throughout the entire stages. Of course, stages meaning the turns that the engines took to activate, not actual cutaway stages because we wanted to keep this an SSTO. I kept the TWR around 140, 150, 1 1.5, 1 1.4, just so that it had enough ump to keep it going through the thick atmosphere. I painstakingly looked at different types of combinations, different types of angles, launch profiles, what would be more efficient, what would work better. I even, I even went as far as taking the parachute and the RCS pack that the Kerbal normally has on board and taking those off because believe it or not, those actually add weight a very much minute small amount of weight but i wanted to leave no stone unturned i tried using it without fins which made it very very uncontrollable in some cases so i made sure that it had some fins when i was testing out the straight up approach when it came to launch when i went for a more ssto thing i added some fins to try to create some lift like a small pair of wings in order to help it ascend at a steep angle as you can see in one of the takes i have the aerodynamic thing turned on there's virtually no drag on this bit and the reason is because of the fact that it's technically the computer or the, the game mechanics sees it as one craft, one cylindrical solid craft. All I did was offset everything so that the point of drag is technically the very end of the craft, which I made sure I tried to put towards the middle to keep it stabilized. The fins create very little drag, which almost become non-existent at a certain altitude, but they help stabilize the craft. I started off extremely small and then gradually worked my way up. If you want to see a virgin, a virgin what? what? A version of this that's completely out of fucking control. <laughs> Watch the previous video at, that was before this one, where we send a giant tier one pyramid into suborbit. I found out that the max amount of TWR or not excuse me not TWR blah, 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 the max amount of delta V you could you could possibly get from one of these things is a, a little over 1900 meters per second which is of course about uh, three to four hundred meters per second less than what you need to have for uh, orbit, let alone to achieve orbit. Usually when I make an SSR SSRT, I try to aim for about 3,000 meters per second. You can go a little under, but about 3,000 meters per second is pretty good. That allows you enough delta V to get through the thick atmosphere and then apply that speed to your orbital insertion. But as for an SSTO for tier one, I'm gonna stand by what my previous statement was and say that it is impossible. There is simply not enough oomph the part that you have for tier one a little flea booster solid rocket booster even in tandem with other little fleas in different techniques and different ways simply do not have enough oomph 
It is just shy of, I want to say, a thousand delta V necessary to go from damn near sea level into orbit and having having to cut through all that atmosphere. It's not possible. Which again, my challenge for the internet is to make it possible. Can you build a tier one SSTO? And if so, prove it. Make a video. Make a vi If you make a video and send me the link, I will take that video and I'll share it with my entire community. And hopefully it'll turn heads and you will become the SSTO legend in a world where tier one SSTOs were thought impossible. One person rose to the challenge and proved inequitably that it could be done. So there you have it. This is going to be a pretty short video. A lot of you have asked me to ask me when, when I'm going to start uh, streaming and I need to figure out a date here pretty soon. I've been working weekends and so it's been kind of tough to try to schedule something. Lord knows I need a break. But then again, I, I need the money more. <laughs> but there you go. So if you like this video, please leave a like. And if you really like this video, consider subscribing. I upload videos often and every once in a blue moon, I put down something that's uh, a different game whether it's a different space game or something else even though i haven't done it in a while when i get some free time maybe i will we also have a membership so if you feel like joining it's uh, 99 cents a month as i said before i wish it could be free but youtube doesn't give me that option but if you want to go ahead check it out if you become a member you get a bunch of neat little emojis and badges that you can put next to your name and stuff which is pretty cool but anyway this has been a kerbal space program video challenge and again i can't wait to see if somebody actually cracks this puppy that'd be pretty amazing like I said, if you do, send me a link to your video and I will definitely share it in the next video. Again, thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for being a part of this channel. Love you all, take care, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. Bye-bye.